Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and I'm here today to do a tutorial on how I make my bead dangles and tassels for junk journals. But before I do that, I just wanted to say hi to Diane H. She was making some retro ephemera and she mentioned me in her video and I thought it was super nice and I just, I've watched her from the very beginning of my junk journal journey, I guess you can say. And I've always loved her style. She was the first person that I found that her style just completely resonated with me. And she's such a down to earth and a humble person and just totally herself on her channel. So I've loved watching her from the very beginning so i just wanted to say thank you diane and thank you to everyone who's come over here from her channel i've gotten some new subscribers and i hope you guys enjoy what i have here on this channel so thank you so much all right so for these tassels i'm going to show you what i've made so far um and I've made a lot. So I have some in here that I made that have not gone onto paper clips or safety pins or anything like that. And then I have these that have gone onto safety pins. So these are all safety pin ones. And I hope there's not too much of a shadow right now. So just like a whole bunch, it's just all jumbled in here. I need to organize these. And I have some paper clip ones here. And then I made these in the brass color for my current journals. So I have some on bold pins. And then I have a few of these. Yeah, so today I will show you how I do paper clip ones as well as safety pin ones. I'm going to do one of each. And I'm not going to go over like the basics of jewelry making because I don't think I know how enough like I'm not qualified to show you that part but I'll show it as I'm going through the process I just won't be able to explain it too well I guess is what I'm saying but before I get into that I'm going to show you the paper clips that I've found so these are from the 99 cent only store I don't know if you have one near you, but it's called 99 cents only and a pack of maybe it's 60, maybe it's a little bit less than 60 for a dollar or 99 cents, I guess. And they're just gold. They have that, it's not metal on the outside, it's that lining that um, colored paper clips have. Let me find one really quick. Like I'm sure you've seen these colored paper clips. These type, how it has like a covering over it, it seems. So that's how these gold ones are. So I use those. And then I also use these ones. And these are from Daiso for $1.50 and they have a point to them and they are metal. There's no covering over it. And then I have these ones that I just found at Hobby Lobby. So a pack of 60 will be $2.99, but I used my 40% off coupon. So I think it ended up being $1.97 with tax and these also have a covering on them like that plastic layer plastic casing I guess you could say and these are 
a little bit more gold, like white, than the 99 cent store one. So let me see if I can hold it up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but this one is more of a cleaner color. All right, so I'm gonna show you two, I'm gonna show you a safety pin one and then a paper clip one. And we'll start with the paper clip one. And with the paper clip ones, I use this kind of wire. Well, I guess for either one, I, I'll use either this kind of wire or an, a head pin. It has a little stopper at the end, that little metal piece. I don't know if you can see that. I moved the beads out of the way actually. So it has like a little stopper at the end. And so those two, or you can use an eye pin. I don't know if I have one handy to show you, but an eye pin is what we're gonna make today. So actually I do have an eye pin. An eye pin These are all head pins. Okay, an eye pin. This is not an open package, so it might be hard to see, but it has a little loop at the end. And we're gonna make that today. So what I do is I cut a length of this. Sorry, I'm looking for stuff right now. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is cut a length, wow, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to cut a length about that size and I use, I'm cutting it really short. Most people will cut it longer to have more room to work, but I, for me that's harder. So what I have here is a length that's about one and a half inches. Let me double check that. Yep, one and a half inches. So this is like my sample piece. I Okay, sorry. So let me tell you what you'll need. You'll need one of these, either wire or a head pin or an eye pin. So just something that you're gonna use that's a wire. And this wire is 20 gauge, I believe. You're gonna need some jump rings right here. Sorry, I'm like a mess today. <laughs> some jump rings. And then a cutter, wire cutter, and two pliers. I think this is a flat nose plier and this is a round nose plier. Yeah. And then you'll need a paper clip and a safety pin. So I just use, I think these safety pins, I've probably had them since childhood or something. I've just had them around. So it's just a small safety pin. Okay, now uh, the first thing I'm going to do, and of course you're going to need beads. We'll go over the beads when I get to them, like after I finish making the wire. So what I'm going to do is straighten out this wire and let me try to stay in frame. So I'm going to straighten this out and then I am going to cut a piece using my example, my sample that was about one and a half inches. So let me hold it right there. Then I'm just going to cut a piece off. Okay. 
So I'm going to use the new piece and put the old piece back in my sample jar. All right, I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and try to straighten this out as best as I can. And again, this is just how I do it. I don't know if this is like the most correct way to do things, but this is how I do it. And I found that it works for me. All right. Now I'm going to make a loop at the end. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I am going to hold it at the very end. And I like a small loop, so I go near the end. So I'm grabbing it so that there's no space on the top. So when I feel the top, I don't feel it coming over this edge. And I am going to hold it down here and turn it. I'm just going to turn it in a certain, like, turn it away from me. So I turned it away from me there. Now I'm going to put it back in. So this leg, the closer leg to me, was making that loop where I was turning it away from me. Now I'm going to take the far leg, which is that one, and I'm going to put it into the loop that I just made. So that's how it looks so far. And then I am going to, before, we turned it away from herself. Now we're going to turn it towards herself just a little bit. So I'm going to grab it and turn it towards myself so that this is what I have. And then I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and squeeze that to close up the loop. Okay. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's straight. It's pretty straight already, but I'm just going to clamp it down to make sure that this part right here is flat against itself, like it's aligned. And there you have your homemade eye pin. So that's all you need to do to make an eye pin, or you could buy a pack of them. like. This is a pack of eye pins right here. All right. So now that I have that, let me just make sure that this is really closed, good and tight. All right. I am going to then take a look at my beads. Now this of course is the fun part. Let me show you the beads that I have. These are glass beads. Um, most of the seed beads are glass beads. I think all of the little bit bigger seed beads are glass. And I have these as well. And they're really inexpensive at Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. I usually use a coupon and if there's a sale, then I, of course, don't use a coupon, but sometimes the deals are really good. Like I got these beads. These are the last ones that I got. They're Czech glass beads, and this container is $2.99. Both of these were $2.99, and they were having a 50% off sale. So these tubes were $1.50 each which I had to really resist in order to not get like a bunch of different ones. But I really want to be selective about what I choose. And I don't want to just pick things carelessly because when I do that, I tend to compromise. Like I don't love it, but it's a good deal. So I just get it. And I found that what ends up happening is it doesn't match with my style completely. And it's not as pretty, so I'll end up making things that are not 
as pretty as I would like to be if I were pickier. So, so far I have these. I got these for a bracelet that I took apart. This was from Michaels. I love this color. This was just from a Goodwill outlet fringe thing that I took apart. This was from Hobby Lobby. And this was from Joann's. These two were from Hobby Lobby. This one I got years ago from Joann's, I think. So yeah, this was recently from Joann's. Joann's, Joann's, and Joann's. So we're going to make one. And when I make these, I'm not too careful about the beads I choose to put on here because when I buy the beads, I try to be really, how would you say, really careful, like I was just saying, about my style so that when I actually have them at home, they already match and you can pretty much put anything together and it'll still look good. Now I try to do at least a metallic with each piece that I make because I really love how the metallic goes with everything and I like gold so it works out. Let's go with the blue one. So I'm going to take my eye pin that we made and I am just going to start putting things on here. Now I like white as well. I like to have white and a metallic one. So here, this is just literally a vitamin, weekly vitamin holder. So it works perfect. So I'm going to put a white one on first. And this wire, 20 gauge, it usually will fit the seed beads, but sometimes it doesn't. So I just put it aside. Now these white ones are a little small and I think the last time I made the, these I put a whole bunch of them aside and I just dumped it up dumped it back in on the top right here so like right now a lot of them aren't fitting but this one fits and I think I'm gonna put a blue one and like I said I'm not too picky this isn't like collaging <laughs> With collaging, I take forever. Like it's so hard for me to be satisfied with my collaging, but with this, it's pretty easy. Like I usually like how things turn out. So let me get one of these pearl ones. And I love this like off-white peachy pearl color and I think I'm feeling this one I was gonna go for this but I think I want one of these let's do another one of these and I think that's all the room I have okay so when I measure how much room I need to put the wire back down I use my pinky now you're gonna have to experiment and just trial and error until you can figure out the length that you need. I need about that much. And because I make my loop really small, I think that's why I need a pinky's worth, like from here up to here. And I think this is even big. So because I know that it's a little bit bigger than I would need, I can add another seed bead on here. Let's try that and see how that looks. I can add another seed bead, which I like how it looks. Now that leaves me very little room, and I think that's like a no-no maybe, <laughs> but 
but let me see if I think I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it. So I am going to make the other loop on this end. Sorry, let me move the beads out of the way. So I'm gonna make the loop, this loop, on the top now. And you're gonna wanna curl it so that it, and I think curl is like a really wrong word to use, <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna do. And when I do it, I'm gonna try to make it so that it's in the same direction as this, so that it's in the same plane. Like it's gonna go down so that how can I explain this? <laughs> Let me find one that I've done. Okay. So you're going to want the loops to both lay flat the same way. So you wouldn't want a loop coming this way and for this to go like that way. I don't know if that makes sense but just make it so that it's flat. So when you hold it like this, they're both flat in the same direction. I hope that made sense. So I am going to take this. I know my loop needs to be pretty small because I, I didn't give myself a lot of room. So I'm gonna hold it at the very end. If I had more room, I would go in a little further because this round nose plier gets bigger as you go inside. So I'm going to grab it really tight at the very tip of it and then I'm going to turn it away from myself. Okay. So now I'm finding that I don't have enough room. So I'm going to turn it back a little bit So I don't know if you got that. I When it was straight, I grabbed it and then I turned it away from myself. And then I kind of backed it up. I reversed it. So now this is what I have. Whoops. Okay, this is what I have. Now I am going to close up this loop using my flat nose pliers and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now, And then I'm going to straighten it out. Now when you're, when I'm sitting here just doing like a bunch of these, not on camera, of course it's not as fumbly and hard for me to maneuver. So when you start doing this, I think it'll get easy pretty quickly. You just need to practice using the round nose pliers and kind of manipulating the wires and then it you just get the hang of it so there we have it we have that okay so that is one <laughs> now let's make another one using an eye pin I mean using a head pin this is a head pin because there's no need to make a loop this stopper is there already, so you just need to thread on some beads. Let's try using some of these new beads that I got. And this will definitely be a little bit of a different color scheme. Because I don't, I guess I do have some lavenders already, but I don't have that many. So I think I want white again. So there's a white. I think I want to try this color. OK. 
Okay, I like that. And then, okay, so this seed bead is a little bit small because the end is kind of big. So let me find a bigger white bead if I can. You know what, I think I'm gonna just use one of these ones right here. Let's grab one if I can. <laughs> All right, so that one sits all the way to the bottom. And let's go ahead and put these back on. So I'm gonna do white first. Actually, I think I'm gonna do the green one first. I'm having okay there and then let's go with should we go with this pink one what do you guys think I think it's cute and then I think I want a green one either green or the pearl one, I mean the off-white. I think I'm gonna do off-white. Off-white, and then I'm gonna do a white one. Okay, I want two white ones. And then a gold one. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I like it. It's very basic, but I really like that. So I will, I don't know if I want the gold on the top. So let me maybe put the gold on the bottom. Like that and then I'm going to let's just put this purple one on I just want to see how it looks because I haven't used this before it's cute okay all right so now I'm gonna cut it so like I mentioned before I need about a pinkies worth so I'm going to Make sure my wire doesn't go flying. So I hold, I make sure I hold it and I snap it off. I'm gonna save this for later. It's a really small length, but I like working with small lengths. Then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers, hold it at the very end, and round it away from myself. So I'm gonna turn it away from myself. And this is what we have so far, so, right? So I just turned it away from myself. Now I'm gonna put the leg that's farther from me into the loop. And then I'm gonna turn it very little towards myself. So that's what we have. Now I think I'm going to do a little bit more like that. And I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and then close that up. Then I'm going to just make sure it's flat. And there we have it. Okay, so the next step would be to put it on paper clip or a 
a safety pin. Of course, a paper clip is easy if I could find a paper clip. <laughs> Let's use a Daiso paper clip. So you just take the loop and loop it on through. Oh, <laughs> I went the wrong way. There we go. We have a paper clip that's ready to be used in a journal. I'm gonna take this one and put it on a safety pin and you're gonna need a jump ring so it's gonna be a little bit harder, but it's really not that hard. You grab one side of your jump ring and I don't have two flat nose pliers, so I'm gonna use the very inside of my round nose pliers to grab the other end. And you're not gonna pull apart. You're gonna twist forward and backward instead of pulling apart side to side. So we're not gonna pull side to side. We're gonna open the jump ring by twisting forward and backward. So I twisted it a little bit. Then I'm going to put on my beads, put it into that loop that we made, take my safety pin. I don't just thread it onto my safety pin. I thread the safety pin into the jump ring, that little circle. And then I close the jump ring back up by reversing what I just did earlier, which is twisting it back to its spot. I hope you guys can see. And then I just kind of make sure that it's really flat in there. And there we have it. We have a safety pin that's ready to be put on a fabric tab or any fabric flips in our journals. So that's what we made today. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions at all, please give me, leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you guys do end up making some of these, I would love it if you would tag me on Instagram. My name is Lace Covered Skies over on Instagram as well, but it's all one word, no spaces. And yeah, I would love to see what you guys end up making. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.